Hello everybody and welcome back to Addicted to Air. So today we have the Reximax Frown and it's the Gen 2 model. So uh, I'm going to take you from the rear to the front, just through the basics and how to operate it. What's nice, the shoulder piece can adjust up and down. You just press this button and um, then you can adjust the, the shoulder piece to your liking. Then this knob um, here, this um, decrease and increase the preload on your hammer spring tension. Then your magazine always slides in from the, the left hand side to the right hand side. And um, remember this clear face plate must be facing towards you. So um, fairly easy to slide this magazine in and out. Then uh, loading the magazine, I'll put in a, a nice close-up somewhere in the screen. It's very easy, you just take this clear face plate, rotate it clockwise, and then you drop the first pellet nose in. Remember to keep your finger on the back side so that the pellet doesn't fall through. Then once you've done that, you can take your um, hand away there, it will be... Um, just the spring tension will keep it in place and then you can just go on and rotating this face plate anti-clockwise until um, you've completely loaded it. This magazine will take uh, 12 pellets. So it also comes with a single shot loading tray. That's pretty awesome as well. So um, while we um, edit, um, here you'll see some plus and minus marks. So on the back there's a little knob. Uh, when you turn this knob, you decrease and increase the amount of air that flows through the transfer port. So uh, pretty easy and simple to regulate that. Then you'll see that uh, there's two gauges. This one in the back is the regulator uh, pressure gauge and in the front is your bottle pressure gauge. Then uh, something that's nice and, and uh, I like a lot is the fact that the safety is incorporated in the, the trigger guard. So once it's down then uh, you will be able to shoot and once you press it up then um, your gun is safe. Uh, then um, this side lever is very smooth and easy to operate. The nice drop down handle, or should I say by Athlon style. What's nice is you don't need to, to take your hand completely off the, the grip to operate and um, load the gun, so that's nice. Then um, just between the two gauges, there's this little silver wheel. That's where you increase and decrease the pressure on your regulator. Uh, very important when you want to go up in pressure, um, you can increase it. Um, no need to, to remove the bottle, but once you want to decrease the pressure on the regulator, please unscrew the bottle and uh, then uh, you can dry fire the gun until um, your regulator pressure here on the sides um, shows you a zero, then you know you're safe. Then you can uh, screw the bottle back and um, slowly adjust the, the pressure where you would like it to be. Then um, what's nice on, on, on the Gen 2 um, range is the previous models the the gun could only fill up to 200 bar. On this one you can fill it up to 250 bar, so that's a whole 50 bar extra. Um, makes quite a huge difference in, in shot count. I'll um, attach a crony sheet with the results and stuff so that you can have a look at it and um, see what kind of shot count I got from it. Then um, something new and uh, different is the, the shroud. 
it's uh, got these vented holes here at the backside. So you'll hear on the scope cam footage and stuff, it might sound loud, but actually it's not that loud. It's just the, the air that's releasing through the shroud. So um, then uh, what's nice, the rail on top, it's a, a Picatinny rail and uh, you can fit dovetail as well. So um, that's pretty awesome. The scope on top is a Valiant 6 to 24 by 50 and uh, pretty decent scope for the money. like it a lot. I'll be doing a, a review on this scope as well so you can have a look out for that. Then uh, what I like on the front, uh, if you remove this end cap, it's got the one and a half inch UNF fret, so you can attach your silencer to it if you'd like to. Then uh, what's nice, it's got uh, a Picatinny rail as well. Um, this little piece here, Peter send it along. I'll. Uh, attach a nice and close up uh, picture of it. This um, piece converts your Picatinny rail to a to an Arca rail so that's pretty damn nice. So I can use this easy on the bipod. And uh, I think in a nutshell that's about it. Um, I don't think I left out anything. Um, as I said full pressure up to 250 bar and um, Here's your full nipple, it comes with a, a probe and stuff, a, a female um, that attach here, and um, that's about it. Right guys and girls, so we're quickly going to shoot that um, five shot group with the JSB 18.13 grainers. Um, slight, slight breeze. Um, I believe we'll manage, so uh, let's see. I lost count of that. Uh, just gonna shoot another one. Awesome, not looking too bad. You um, can see the, the gusts with the wind that have an effect. Um, the horizontal line is, is perfect, it's just moving a little bit from left to right. But otherwise, um, I'm more than happy with that group. Right, the last group will be with the JSB Hades, 15.89 grains. And uh, this will be most likely the pellet of choice for the day. Uh, to use for the pest control. So, um, let's shoot that grouping and see. Um, the wind did die down a little bit, so... Uh, Let's see. Awesome, uh, the wind did have a, an effect um, with this little gust, but it's not the issue, I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Um, the reason I'm going to use this guys today is um, 
there's going to be a lot of cattle and stuff moving around and uh, we need to be uh, safe and um, slugs um, the energy that they carry through is hopelessly too much and um, the way these IDs expand they'll uh, do the job and stop the pigeons uh, nice in their tracks so um, I'm quickly gonna measure up and um, then we're gonna start with the pest control see you now alright we've got a few rock pigeons at uh, 50 um, we've got quite a breeze from uh, left to right so uh, let's see Some stuff is down. These IDs uh, take no prisoners. Awesome, that tide is uh, completely anchored in. Right, we've got a, a few rock pigeons at 40. So uh, let's see if we can make work of it. He's down. Right, there's another one at sixty. Oh. Awesome. He's down. Is another one at uh, 60. Um, it's a bit of a wires in the way. Let's see if we can manage with this one. Oh, he's down cold. Awesome stuff. Guys, we've got a few uh, up close at uh, 35. That 
uh, 80s made quite a pop. Here's another one at 55. He's down. Awesome stuff. Here's one Kamikaze pilot at 20 meters. It is anchor team. Oh. Must say the phone with these IDs is a devastating combination. We've got a rock pigeon at uh, 52 meters. Let's see. Give it a try, 52 meters. There's a slight breeze from the right hand to the left hand side. Oh. That one is uh, completely lights out, he's game down. Awesome. Alright guys and girls, so this concludes the field test for the, the Reximex Throne. Um, it didn't disappoint at all, it's an awesome little rifle. And I um, must say the JSB 80s did their job. Awesome pellets as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you very much for your support. Meanwhile stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.